It certainly is a big bun. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Some hamburger places give you a lot less beef on a lot of bun. Where's the beef? Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. You are. What is going on YouTube, Lamont at large? And today I am at the Waldheim Cemetery here in Forest Park, North Chicago. And I'm here to visit the grave of Clara Peller. You probably don't know her name, nor would you probably even know her if you've seen what she was famous for if you're under the age of 40. But she was the lady that was cast in the mid 80s for the Where's the Beef Wendy's commercials that were all over the television. I remember that as a kid. And uh, she didn't become famous until she was around 80 years old. Uh, she grew up here in Chicago. She was a manicurist and she had been hired on a television set to be a temporary manicurist for whatever actors that were on set. And uh, one of the people, they liked her no-nonsense uh, way about how she <laughs> talked with people. And they cast her in a you know, com a couple commercials. She was uh, in, I believe, a, a commercial for the Massachusetts Lottery. And then uh, somebody seen that commercial. They liked her and they cast her as the uh, Where's the Beef Lady. Uh, they liked her because she had this really gruff, uh, kind of a deep voice. The only problem when they cast her, she had emphysema. So she wasn't able to say long lines in the commercial so they just kind of came up with something quick that she could say and of course it was where's the beef and uh, she was very famous uh i believe wendy's sales went up about 30 some odd percent just from those commercials alone however she didn't experience uh many years of fame those commercials started in about 1984 and uh she passed away in 1987 so it's about three years towards the end of her life, but a cultural icon to say the least. And uh, this is her grave right here. This is Clara Peller, beloved wife, mother, and grandmother, and talented actress. Extraordinary person missed by all. 85 years old. And uh, these are her parents right here. Her maiden name was Swordlove. It took me almost two hours to find this grave. If you can't tell, uh, there's about 75,000 graves out here at least. But uh, luckily I got to it before it got dark. I remembered you as a little kid. You driving that car in that commercial, swinging everybody to the left and to the right, uh, hurrying up trying to get to Wendy's to buy yourself a hamburger. And uh, she was very, very famous. I mean, just one of those, um, just kind of a cultural icon, you know what I mean? And uh, a part of my childhood, a small one, still a part of it. And, um, you know, I just, I'll never uh, forget those commercials. They were fantastic. So rest in peace to Miss Peller. Uh, she'll always be forever remembered as the uh you know where's the beef lady and um just good memories from when i was a child <laughs> watching tv and that commercial would come on and it is true in that commercial what they say there is more beef in a single uh, hamburger from wendy's than there is at uh, mcdonald's or burger king and i know this because i've worked at all three of those places because i'm a talented individual very talented anyways rest in peace to clara and her this is her sister right here and that's her brother all right guys i'm out of here thank goodness i found this grave i was really hoping that i would find it before i left all right guys i'll catch up with you later on the next vlog god bless peace out